Uh, Jordan Talley, questions please. Addison, what was the halftime speech there that kind of got you guys going? Um, it was pretty tough. I mean, you should know. Um, um, he was just preaching our defense and our energy. Our energy and effort was very low to start the game. Jordan, what was uh, what was that stretch there like? I mean, they went 11 minutes without a point. You guys scored 22 straight. Uh, coach always preached to us that defense, if you play defense and your effort is up, the offense will take care of itself. So that's what we did the second half coming out. We just wanted to defend, defend hard, just put pressure on the ball. The offense took care of itself. Schematically, was there anything different there, or was it just kind of cleaning up what you guys, the plan that you guys had? Basically, effort. We came out flat. Like the first half, we, we it took us a while to get going. So the second half, right away, we said, "Come on, the first four minutes, that's the most important minutes of the game." So it came out in my heart. Addison, have you ever seen anything quite like that? I mean, where you know it is um, 11 minutes and then it's so long, you know, 22 straight points. Yeah, um, that was, that was crazy to see that to see that happen. <laughs> yeah, that was dumb. Addison, was this a, was this a trap game for you guys? You know, everybody was so up for the William and Mary, and then you got Northeastern. Um, I wouldn't call it a trap game, but um, we, we we just came out I mean, not ready to play in the first half, and they just came out with more effort than we did. I mean, we were in that position last year trying to get a win whenever we could when we were at the bottom of the conference. So they came out they came out ready to win, and we did it. But the second half, we turned it around. What is the difference being in that position where, yeah, like you said, you're a little bit of a honey right now? Um, I mean, it feels good, but we always got to – we got to stay on point because uh, everybody's going to be after us and try to take our spot. Jordan, for you specifically, you had a little bit of a of a rough first half. I mean, what what specifically do you feel like you did personally there uh, to kind of get get you know your game going? Uh, I just attacked, just because they um I give Charleston credit. They all play good defense and they hedge hard. So if you just hesitate and attack the lane, you you probably get what you want and create for your teammates. Jordan, was that anything you guys kind of went over in halftime? Because it seemed like in the first half, whenever you'd uh, come around a screen, you'd be looking to pass. In the second half, it was just a straight line to the basket. Uh, yeah, um, my assistants and I had, they um, they told us from in halftime, it was like, just look for your, because they started hedging, and then they started leaving a little early. So he said, give them a little hesitation, and then they're going to leave, and then you have an open lane to the basket. Jordan, the one that kind of seemed like it was, kept the gates going was that three that you hit with at the end of the shot clock. Uh, you know that that one was going in, and what did that do for you? I had a good feeling. It was the same spot I missed in the William and Mary shot, so I had to hit 1-0. <laughs> I had to hit 1-0.